Let's talk about bridges, folks. These structures are more than just pathways, they are symbols of human creativity and ambition. From the Golden Gate in San Francisco to the Tower Bridge in London, each one tells a story of its own. I've seen my fair share of impressive structures in my time, and each one has left me in awe of what we can achieve when we put our minds to it. But the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge is in a league of its own. It's not just a bridge, it's a feat of modern engineering. This ain't just a bridge, it's a statement. A statement of what human determination and technological prowess can achieve. Stretching over 55 kilometers of open water, it's a behemoth of concrete, steel, and human creativity. Imagine the sheer scale of this project, connecting three bustling cities, connecting Hong Kong, Zhuhai, and Macau, three major players in the Pearl River Delta. This bridge is more than just a physical connection, it's a lifeline for commerce, culture, and community. And it didn't come cheap. The cost of such an ambitious project is staggering. This mega project set the world back a cool $20 billion, making it the most expensive bridge ever built. Why so pricey? Well, let's delve into the challenges. Building a bridge this long and complex ain't like throwing up a garden fence. It required meticulous planning, advanced technology, and a workforce of thousands. We're talking about navigating treacherous waters, battling typhoons, and dealing with some of the busiest shipping lanes on the planet. Each of these factors added layers of complexity to the project, but the price tag reflects more than just concrete and steel. It embodies the vision and ambition of a region looking to the future. It represents the ambition of a region determined to connect and thrive. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge is not just an engineering feat. It's a testament to what we can achieve when we dare to dream big. So, where did all that money go? Let's break it down piece by piece. Building a bridge this massive is like piecing together a giant jigsaw puzzle, with each piece meticulously planned and executed. Each piece of this puzzle comes with a hefty price tag. From the raw materials to the specialized equipment, every element adds up. First you've got the bridges themselves, not one but several viaducts soaring over the sea. These structures are engineering marvels designed to withstand harsh marine conditions. Then, there are the tunnels, underwater sections that disappear beneath the waves, allowing ships to pass overhead. These tunnels are feats of modern engineering, requiring advanced technology and materials. And let's not forget the artificial islands, massive platforms reclaimed from the sea to support the bridge's weight. These islands are essentially man-made land, created to provide stability and support. Each of these components required cutting-edge engineering and a whole lot of materials. The complexity of the designs and the precision needed for construction are mind-boggling. We're talking about enough steel to build 60 Eiffel Towers. Imagine the sheer volume of steel beams and structures needed to support such a massive project, and enough concrete to fill 320 Olympic-sized swimming pools. The amount of concrete used is staggering, providing the necessary strength and durability. Add to that the cost of labor, technology, and the sheer logistical nightmare of coordinating a project of this scale. Thousands of workers, countless hours, and state-of-the-art technology all contribute to the final bill. When you consider all these factors, the $20 billion price tag starts to make a little more sense. It's a monumental investment in infrastructure, reflecting the immense effort and resources required to bring such a colossal project to life. Building in the Pearl River Delta is no walk in the park. This ain't some calm lake, we're talking about a dynamic, ever-changing environment. Typhoons are a constant threat, packing winds that can rip a structure to shreds. And then there's the seabed, a mushy, unstable layer of silt that makes finding a solid foundation about as easy as nailing jelly to a wall. But engineers are a resourceful bunch. To withstand the typhoons, they designed the bridge with special wind barriers and reinforced supports capable of withstanding winds of up to 185 miles per hour. And to tackle the soft seabed, they used massive steel piles, driven deep into the earth to anchor the bridge securely. It's a testament to human ingenuity, finding ways to overcome nature's toughest challenges. Now building a massive structure in the ocean is bound to have an impact on the environment. And the Pearl River Delta is home to some pretty sensitive creatures, including the endangered Chinese white dolphin. So, how do you build a mega bridge without turning the place into an underwater ghost town? Well, the developers of the bridge knew they had to tread carefully. 
they implemented strict environmental regulations, requiring noise barriers to minimize disturbance to marine life during construction. They also created dedicated marine passages, allowing dolphins and other creatures to swim freely beneath the bridge. It was all about finding that balanced progress without sacrificing the environment. Section 5. Three Cities, One Vision, Economic Integration and Regional Cooperation. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge is more than just a feat of engineering. It's a symbol of regional cooperation and economic ambition. By connecting these three major cities, the bridge aims to create a more integrated Pearl River Delta region, a bustling economic powerhouse that can compete on a global scale. Think of it like this. Before the bridge, traveling between these cities was a time-consuming hassle. Now it's a breeze, slashing travel times from hours to minutes. This means easier trade, more tourism, and greater economic opportunities for everyone involved. It's about breaking down barriers and building a more interconnected future for the region. Section 6. The Bridge to Prosperity, Debating the Costs and Benefits. Now, not everyone's on board with this mega-project. Some critics argue that the $20 billion price tag was excessive money that could have been better spent on other priorities like education or healthcare. Others point to the initial low traffic flow on the bridge, questioning whether it was worth the investment. And then there are concerns about safety. This is a long bridge exposed to the elements and accidents unfortunately do happen. The question is, do the economic benefits and the symbolism of regional cooperation outweigh these concerns? It's a complex issue with no easy answers, and it's one that folks in the region continue to debate. Section 7. Addressing the concerns, safety first, in the face of nature's fury. Of course safety is paramount, especially on a structure as vast and exposed as the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. The designers and engineers knew that Mother Nature could throw her worst at this bridge, so they incorporated numerous safety features to mitigate potential risks. The bridge is fitted with a state-of-the-art traffic management system, including speed limits, lane departure warnings, and countless surveillance cameras to monitor traffic flow and respond quickly to any incidents. Emergency response teams are stationed at strategic points along the bridge, ready to jump into action should the need arise. And the bridge's design incorporates features to withstand even the most powerful typhoons, offering reassurance to those who might question its resilience. Section 8. A lasting legacy, symbol of ambition, or bridge to nowhere. So, there you have it. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. A marvel of engineering, a structure that stands as a testament to human ambition and ingenuity. This bridge, stretching over 55 kilometers, connects three major cities and serves as a vital artery for commerce and travel. It is a symbol of regional ambition, representing the aspirations of a region looking to cement its place on the global stage, yet it is also a lightning rod for controversy. Critics argue about its environmental impact, the financial burden, and whether it truly serves the needs of the people. Whether you see it as a bridge to prosperity, a vital link that will drive economic growth and regional integration, or a bridge to nowhere, an extravagant project that may not live up to its promises, there's no denying that it's a project of epic proportions, a colossal undertaking that showcases the heights of modern engineering. It stands as a testament to human ingenuity, the ability to dream big and turn those dreams into reality, and the unwavering desire to connect to bring people, cities, and economies closer together. Only time will tell what the ultimate legacy of this bridge will be. Will it stand as a beacon of progress and innovation, ushering in a new era of economic prosperity for the Pearl River Delta? Or will it become a costly reminder of overreaching ambition, a symbol of what happens when grand visions fail to meet reality? One thing's for sure, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge will continue to spark debate, inspire awe, and capture the imagination for generations to come. What's your take on this monumental structure? Will it be remembered as a triumph or a folly?